Good evening, an Albuquerque man. Cell phone camera rolling, letting parking enforcement officers have it over a mistake. Some of you may have already seen a piece of this story. Here's the part you haven't seen. News 13's Madeline Schmidt has both sides of the story. She's live at 6th and Central. Madeline. Yeah, well, Jessica and Dean, it was an argument over a parking ticket that had a parking enforcement officer screaming for help before reversing down Central into a red light at an intersection just to get away from this guy. The series of events that led to this, a city worker for your, your supervisor in screaming and reversing down Central unquestionably odd. It happened late last month. Sandro Tonini ran to help his co-worker being ticketed at a meter. Even though she had paid enough time. He started recording and says the meter maid went back and forth on whether to void the ticket. So he followed her. Dude, you're like right on me. Looking for answers. And even jumped in the back of her truck. If she wasn't going to give us results, um, and do her job properly, then I wasn't going to let her keep doing her job. Eventually, her supervisor arrived and repeatedly explained how to dispute the citation, even though by this point the meter maid said she voided it. The supervisor flagged down a nearby police officer, claiming Tonini made intimidating threats, but the officer was busy. Tonini says the supervisor then instructed him to wait for another officer to arrive as she went back to her city vehicle. Where do I wait for the police? Tonini pulled your, open her door. I'm for your, your supervisor he even stood in front of the car, blocking their exit. <laughs> to get away, the driver drove backward all the way to the intersection. The city tells News 13 the citation was wrong, but it stands by how employees handled the chaos. It's very unfortunate that, you know, as city employees, we try and do our job, and then we have people that, you know, threaten us and make us feel very uncomfortable. Tonini admits the situation was a mess, but he stands by what he did. They didn't own the fact that the ticket was fraudulently issued. Um, they displaced the blame, um, and, and they, they refused to provide us any proof that it had been taken care of. Now, the city says its parking enforcement officers are trained to de-escalate situations, but in this case, they were fearful and felt like nothing was working. Back to you. All right, Madeline, thank you. Now, the city wrote up its own account of what happened, and we've got the full statement from them on krqe.com.